what's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Ransom here to talk about movies and today we are talking about Trainwreck, the uh, brand new Judd Apatow movie. It's actually, in my opinion, his best movie that he's put out since The 40 Year Old Virgin, which has uh, been a long time. It's been over 10 years. Uh, believe it or not. But yeah, uh, we got Amy Schumer in this one. We got Bill Hader in this one. We got LeBron James in this movie. And uh, before you uh, start talking bad about LeBron James, watch the movie because uh, you LeBron haters out there, I was a LeBron hater before this film, and I, I kind of love him now. Like his on-screen chemistry with Bill Hader is fantastic. His timing is really good. His comedic timing is really, really good. And uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's unfair for somebody to be that talented. <laughs> you know, like, he's already so, so talented on the basketball court. And now we find out that he's a pretty good actor too. So, uh, just completely unfair. Yeah, but for you guys, uh, familiar with Amy Schumer, uh, if you've seen her show on Comedy Central, you know pretty much what to expect in Trainwreck. Uh, this movie is very crude. It's very blue collar. Most importantly, it's unapologetic about that, and I, I think it's better because of that. First thing you probably know about uh, Trainwreck is that it, it's not a movie to take your grandma to. Uh, believe it or not, I actually saw quite a few grandmas leaving my screening last night because they realized what kind of a movie this is. I mean, the movie's about this character played by Amy Schumer called Amy, which is kind of weird, but um, her character does not believe that monogamy is a natural thing. From a very early age, her father put that idea in her head that monogamy isn't natural. So in the first act of the movie, you see her play out on that. There's a lot of guys. She treats all of them like garbage. There's actually one that uh, kind of sticks around, but uh, you'll, you'll see when you watch the movie how she treats them. And you get a sense of the kind of person that she really is. Uh, she actually... Uh, translates over to her work life too because she works at a really trashy magazine and they give her an assignment they give her a, an assignment to write an article on this sports medicine doctor uh, played by bill Hader, and uh you know naturally the way that she has been brought up to believe that monogamy isn't a good thing she thinks like a dude she decides that she's going to mix business with pleasure they sleep together but what she doesn't realize is that she's going to for the first time in her adult life uh, have feelings for a guy and uh, in return she's going to have feelings for a guy who has feelings for her and uh, because of how she's been brought up you start to see how that can be a problem. Alright so let's talk about some uh, individual performances in this film. I already talked about LeBron James he is really really great but I'm gonna say this about Bill Hader. I've said it before I'll say it again the guy is a freaking national treasure. He is a comedic genius. He's so good in pretty much everything that I've seen him in. Mean, last year, uh, uh, he was in the Skeleton Twins. If you haven't seen that, please do yourself a favor. Go check it out. He's really good. But this is probably my favorite Bill Hader role since uh, his supporting role in Superbad. You guys remember that, where he was the, the cop with Seth Rogen, which... Just be honest, the best part about Superbad, he's great in this movie. He's so natural. He's supposed to be LeBron James' best friend. And uh, when they have their one-on-one -on -one scenes together, you really feel like they've known each other for a very, very long time. When he has his scenes with Amy Schumer and he's putting his heart out there to possibly get hurt, you really feel like this character deeply cares about Amy Schumer's character. And he's just, ah, oh, he's so good. Uh, Tilda Swinton has a small role. She plays Amy Schumer's awful boss at that trashy magazine that I talked about just a little while ago. And uh, she's great. She's uh, she's such a bad person that you can't help but fall in love with her. And she's so funny in every single scene that she's in. And then, of course, Amy Schumer. Like I said earlier, this movie really has the potential of making her uh, a, a huge, a massive superstar. And I think that 10 years from now, people are going to look back at this movie and they're going to be like, wow, that was a career starter. Uh, I, I know that she has her own TV show, but this is the one that really just propelled her into superstardom. And uh, I think that people are going to look back fondly on this movie and they're going to remember Trainwreck as one of the best uh, comedies, at least one of the best blue collar comedies to come out in the, uh, in the last 10 years. So that being said, the only critique that I really have about this movie is that it's a little bit long. It clocks in at over two hours. I felt that there were some throwaway scenes. They probably easily could have made this movie about an hour and 40 minutes and it would have benefited from that. But it's still a lot of fun. So that's why I have to give Trainwreck an 8.5 out of 10.